Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about measuring coordination. Um, so measuring coordination involves analyzing the movement and uh, the movement of joints and the segments of the body in specific temporal and spatial patterns. Um, so there are lots of different ways to assess coordination, uh, but there are two main strategies, angle, angle plots and relative phase. So I'm just gonna very briefly introduce those two strategies to you. Uh, so angle-angle plots are used most often in biomechanics to analyze relationships between movement at two joints. Um, so if you plot the movement of two joints on the same, um, in the same diagram or in the same graph, I should say, uh, then you can compare the movements of those two joints um, during those same phases or at those same time points. Um, so you can be comparing left and right sides of the same joint, or you could be comparing uh, like the movement at the hip, knee, and ankle all at the same time. Um, so it's a way to kind of get a measure of coordination and see how consistently do those joints and those particular movements correlate with one another. Uh, so cross-correlation technique is a statistical procedure where we apply uh, that statistical procedure to joint movement. Um, and we're looking for a correlation coefficient, which you see throughout statistics. So correlation coefficient is really just saying the extent to which two things tend to follow the same pattern or tend to happen at the same time, um, where zero means that they don't happen together at all. And one would mean absolute correlation where they always happen exactly the same way at the same time. Um, so we can generally generate a correlation coefficient essentially to say, um, how much do these joints follow a similar pattern or how much are they coordinated in their movement? So between zero and one, one being the most coordinated. Uh, relative phase is used to study coordination in cyclic movement like gait, for example. Um, so relative phase is calculated between two segments or joints during one cycle or a part of a cycle. So like you could take the eight phases of walking gait and you could look at any of those eight phases and try to determine um, what is the coordination pattern of the different joints or of the different segments during that phase. Uh, it uses phase plots like you see here on the right. Um, we're looking at the displacement on one side and the time or the velocity on the bottom there. Uh, and it shows the relationship spatially and in uh, temporal uh, terms. So we're looking at the space and time differences or coordination patterns between the different joints that are plotted there. Um, so we can get the phase angle from the phase plot by drawing a line from the origin um, to whatever specific point on the graph that we want to go to. So like, let's say we wanted to look at the time uh, 0.4 seconds here. So we could draw uh, a line starting at the origin to each of the um, each of our joints here that are shown on the plot at that time point. So we would get four different angles starting from the origin, extending to the different joints at that particular time point. So then we can compare those angles. Um, and by comparing those angles at that specific point in time, then we get relative phase. So relative phase is an index of the coordination between the different segments during that specific phase. Um, and that helps us describe the relationship between limbs during a cyclic movement. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.